what's up guys welcome back to today's video we're going to be doing a grunge style poster tutorial this is going to be a super easy tutorial that you guys will be able to follow along so without further ado let's get right into it all right first things up is getting our canvas all ready to go so the width is going to be 4000 by 5000 at 72 resolution rgb color 8-bit backgrounds gonna be white don't color manage and square pixels. So I'm gonna be putting this Photoshop file down below so you guys can copy these grid lines. These grid lines just really do help when it comes to making sure everything aligns right. So the first step is gonna be making a solid color. We're gonna make it kind of dark gray. I'll also be linking down below this vector pack that you guys can use and download for free. It'll have everything that you'll be able to use in this specific tutorial. So let's start off by grabbing the borders. We're just gonna align these as best as we can right here. And then we will also be putting some lines in. All right, once we have all our lines where we want them to be, next is gonna be bringing in the pictures. So we have one. and three since the image is kind of overflowing over the border what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna create a new layer I'm gonna put it below the picture then I'm just gonna create a square Basically just put it right up to the edges of these borders. And I'll do that for all of the pictures that have borders. Because what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna click on the picture itself, then I'm gonna hit Control Alt G, and that's gonna have it contained within this rectangle right here so that there's no overflow. All right, once you have all your rectangles made, we're just gonna bring in the pictures and adjust them as we need to. All right, perfect. Next, I'm just gonna desaturate all the images. So let's do that. Next is gonna be the text. So there's a couple of different fonts. There's actually gonna be three different fonts here. And I'll link down below all the fonts so you guys will be able to use them and download them. The first one is gonna be called High Rise. So this will just be for the name. Stretch it out just a little bit. The next font is going to be for the album name, and that one is called Allowing Freedom. So the album for this one is called Lonely Boy. Just going to stretch that out just a little bit. So the text for the song names are going to be in the font called Helvetica, and I'm just going to copy and paste those right under the Lonely Boy text. And then we're also going to put the artist name and the album right over here too.
perfect. And then the last bit of text is actually just gonna be just some words right in this area right here. It could be really anything. It could be parts of the songs. It could be just quotes or anything like that. So whatever you guys like. And this is totally optional, but you can also put down your name um, in the top right and left corners. All right, and that does it for the text. Next, we're gonna do some final touches by adding some vector images. So in the vector pack that I'll include in the description below, we have a couple that we can use. So we have the G59 logo and this R logo. We're gonna put that at the very bottom. Just gonna shrink that down. right here and then I'm just gonna add just like a little like collab right in the middle here bring in the barcode we'll put that in the middle right here awesome so one of the last steps is to be coloring everything to the desired color that you'd like so for this one I included it in the vector pack it's gonna be 9884 be which is kind of like just this light purple. And we are just going to color everything here. And then I'm just gonna add some skulls just thrown around the poster itself. So let me grab this and I'm gonna make, you know, just do five of them. So I want these skulls to match the colors of the purple. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna grab the first skull right here. I'm going to create a solid color. I'm gonna keep it that purple color. And then the blend mode is just gonna be color and then I'm going to hit Control Alt G, and then boom. I'm just gonna turn down the opacity just a little bit, and then we'll do that for all of them. And then I'm actually just gonna group everything. Let's call it Skull Group. All right, so the last step is gonna be adding some noise to everything, and then finally putting on the textures. So let's go ahead and do that. So for the text, I'm just gonna convert it to a smart object. And then I'm going to go up to filter, go to noise, add noise, and then let's just do like 40. And we'll do that for all the text on here. So once you've added noise to all your vectors and texts, next we're just gonna add noise to the images themselves by doing the same exact thing. Then lastly, we're just gonna bring in the textures.
perfect. So let's get rid of these grid lines. And there you guys have it, your guys' own grunge style poster. I just wanna say thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please hit that subscribe button for more. And remember, I'll be linking down below the Photoshop file and the vector pack down below. We'll catch you guys in the next one.